Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic Time Crisis. Time Crisis is a light gun on rail shooter that was developed by Namco in 1995. Time Crisis was the game that was on all the movie theaters. If you are going to see a movie, rest assured, nine times out of ten, you are most likely to run into Time Crisis. Why that is, is that the cabinet was huge and quite possibly expensive, which means that movie theaters and big arcades had the space to accommodate the size of the these cabinets and generate enough foot traffic to profit from this. However, Time Crisis was pretty hard. Now I know I say that about most games, but when the game makes the Guardian's top 25 hardest video games of all time, you know I'm not exaggerating. What makes things worse is that playing it at the time would cost you at a minimum one dollar. Yes, it's it's pretty expensive. And there were some instances where I saw it for two dollars. I mean, damn, man. So, so not only was it hard, it was expensive as well, but you were willing to spend because it looked so cool at the time and after wasting a lot of money at the concession stand, you had just enough change for like a game before your movie started. And that's how usually it played out. So this is how the story goes. I'm not gonna explain it, I'm just gonna let it play because it's a little cheesy. There's been a kidnapping. It's Rachel, the daughter of the president of Sertia. Get into the castle and rescue Rachel. Sometime, somewhere, someone is plotting a government overthrow. A small republic is in danger. It's time for the one-man army. Richard Miller. She must be dead by now. Don't come! Rachel McPherson. Since you have traveled so very far, be my guest and let me entertain you. Cheruto Garo. You see? Pretty awkward, right? <laughs> so basically, kill all the bad guys. Adding to the attraction of the game, the arcade cabinet came with a light gun that recoiled when it fired. Cool. It also had a floor pedal you keep your foot on, so when things get hectic, you can take your foot off and the character takes cover. It takes a little getting used to, though. Time Crisis is pretty cool. It spawned five sequels, and it was ported over to the PlayStation and PlayStation 2. My only gripe with the game is that it's expensive to play for a difficult game, and that pretty much became the norm for a lot of arcade games. This, in my opinion, was one, just one of the factors that led to a serious decline in arcade attendance, and why simple and cheap games, and when I mean cheap, I mean like it costs like a quarter to play. Like, Pac-Man became one of the highest grossing games of all time. Losing in Pac-Man just didn't hit you as hard. I think replay values directly correlated with price. So if the game was cheaper, like 25 cents or, or a quarter, you know, people would have played a little bit more. That being said, play the game and let me know what you think. Still a cool game though.